Mental health struggles can affect anyone, even Camila Cabello. In an interview with The Hollywood Reporter for their songwriter roundtable, Camila opened up about a challenging time in her life and revealed that she actually wrote the song Million to One for Amazon Prime Video's Cinderella during that time. Camila explained that working on the classic fairy tale movie helped her cope with her mental health struggles. She said, quote, I don't think I know how to write in any way that isn't personal to me. When I was working on Million to One for Cinderella, to be totally honest, I was going through a really hard time with my mental health. Camila continued to share, quote, It was just a period of a lot of anxiety and sadness for me, and that song had me feeling like I can overcome this. I know that I can make my life better. I feel like I channeled my personal journey into one of the characters. The character was super confident. Everybody was telling her no, but she knew. Over the years, Camila has been an open book when it comes to mental health challenges, and in September of 2020, Camila praised Jay Balvin for not being afraid to share his own struggles. And in May 2020, during Mental Health Month, Camila shared insight into her private background battle with anxiety and OCD for WSJ Magazine. She wrote, quote, here's what there aren't pictures of from the last year. Me crying in the car, talking to my mom about how much anxiety and how many symptoms of OCD I was experiencing. My mom and me in a hotel room reading books about OCD because I was desperate for relief. Me experiencing what felt like constant, unwavering, relentless anxiety that made day-to-day life painfully hard. Camila went on to explain that she sought professional help and began cognitive behavioral therapy, meditation, and breath work. She got incredibly candid about her journey, saying that it took a lot of self-love, self-compassion, and self-awareness to get her to where she is today. Camila said, For a long time, anxiety felt like it was robbing me of my humor, my joy, my creativity, and my trust. But now, anxiety and I are good friends. I listen to her because I know she's just trying to keep me safe. But I don't give her too much attention, and I sure as hell don't let her make any decisions. 